So uh, before we begin, I'd like to just share with you just uh, that the world is a funny place. And, and uh, first of all, you shouldn't judge a person until you get into their shoes. And then a Kodesh Baruch Hu has a sense of humor. A Kodesh Baruch Hu has a huge sense of humor. Uh, I raised my children many years ago. They were not easy. I still remember, you know, one of them in particular had difficulty in yeshiva. And I, I would prompt him for a test, and I'd study hard with him, and he was so anxious, and there was tremendous anxiety in, in the house. Uh, Be silence. Re- retro- retroactively, I, I could have done things differently, but Chalapachas, I still remember uh, how difficult it was in studying and everything. So I decided a few, like two weeks ago, that I'm going to take the Dershu test. The Dershu test is on 30 blot of Gemara and Rashi. 30 Bhav Gemara Rashi, it's 30 questions. And you've all been down this road with this Masechta, and the last 30 blot in particular, is a tremendous amount of information in the blot. Think about, if you read for a main idea, you read a book, you have a main idea, and uh, it follows along. You have in, in our, in our, uh, in our Masechta, main ideas, you can have in two lines, you can have this, 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 it's amazing. So, it became a family thing because I was suffering the same, same anxiety as my kid had many, many years ago. I felt, I felt anxious, I felt, and all my family was rallying around me. Don't worry, you can do well with everything, you know? And, and anyway, so I, I, <laughs> who's preparing me for this Bechina? Who am I learning with? The same son that I learned with years ago is now a Maki, he's a Rebbe Yushalayim. He knows a Velta Torah. And he's prompting me for the share. He says, don't worry, daddy, you're going to do well. You know, he's giving me, uh, put effort in. He's giving me the same schmooze that I gave him 30 years ago. As long as you try it, it's okay. You know, so I'm getting the same schmooze. And I, 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 and I are, are rolling. So what do I do? I finished the test and I took my phone and I took a picture of each page. You know, you, I was allowed to do that. He lives in Yerushalayim. I emailed him to Yerushalayim and I, I get, get up in the morning to learn, and there's the email. Daddy, you did great. I'm so proud of you. I, I'm ready to go ahead and print it out and put it on my refrigerator, you know? It's the same, the gal gal. It's, it's, it's so funny. It's hysterical. It's just, it's so, such a, a perspective of life. I've got this broken sense of humor and how things can, can, can roll around. And, and no, I'm not going to tell you my mark, so let's go right there. I know. Boy, that was close. Okay. Anyway, so we're all here. So Bez Hashem, it's very exciting. And again, I, I want to thank everybody for, you know, bearing, we've been, it's been five months to five difficult months and difficult times. And here we are with, at, at, at the cusp of finishing the Masechta, a wonderful Masechta. And it's, this should be a schist for all of us. This should be a schist for all of us, the 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 Levin Atayra, the Ian Atayra, which is the fact that you, you're missing Nefesh to come out and, and, and during times when there was a lot of anxiety and everything. And it's like a, something very special, a very special Masechta. And again, I, I thank all of you for joining me along for the ride. And I can't tell you, there's not, no better bunch of guys to sell with than you guys. Okay, we're the, up to the Mishnah on Kuf Nun Vav Amid Beis. Kuf Nun Vav Amid Beis. Now we, by now, if I tell you, when I'm dear to the what's the Machlokas and Mukta? If you can answer, you fail. Okay? And, and you deserve to fail. If Yehuda says, there's something called Mukta. And if Shimon says, it's not so far reaching the idea of Mukta. It's not, it's not so, it's not so, it's not so. Okay, you see Anyway, who is that guy? <laughs> who is? It? Look at that! I can't wait till Wednesday night. Look at that! He turned black. You went to right you right went right. to Africa. You, you went to Africa and you took Black Lives Matter seriously. You're black. What happened, Penny? <laughs> I'm glad you muted. I don't hear a word you're saying. Anyway, so here we go. So, Mazel Tov on the Mechitin. Uh, we, we, we're there already. You're late. Okay. You missed the monologue. We don't want to hear from you. Now. All right. Back. Okay. Back behind the goal. Okay. You're right. Go ahead. Okay. See, see, see you in, in 100 plot. Anyway. 100 plot? Give, well, give me a menu for tomorrow night. <laughs> okay. Listen, as long as you're here, you can come. All those Schwitzers and Rutkin better be a good, better be a good see you tomorrow night. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, 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 again, we'll see. Okay, anyway, so we know this, this the Machloik is between Rabbi, Rabbi Akiva, not Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Yehuda. And Rabbi, okay, and here's an example of it. We finished the Masechta. It's been a theme throughout the Masechta, the Muksa, the extent. 
and we're going to have a synopsis of the Shittas and of the Amoroyim, the Gedolah Amoroyim, who argued in Muxa. It's very fascinating. So it says, the Now, by and large, the Luwin, which are like cucumbers, gourds, they're for human beings, they're not fodder for animals. However, on occasion, they would go ahead and be used for animals, so therefore, you can go ahead and cut them up. And an animal that was alive, it was alive out of Shabbos. And then it <clears> dropped dead on Shabbos. It, it, it died on Shabbos. So this is called Noilad. It, it, it changes its what its status. It changes its status. So you Oimer in Loihoisin the Vela Mir of Shabbos Asura the few Shainim in Amuchin. So the kind of Kama obviously is with Shimon, who holds that what that that you could go ahead and, and eat and eat from a, a, an animal that was Nevela, because it's considered Muchan. And according to Rev Shimon, Rev Yehuda not. It matters. Now look at this, this look at this simon, guys. Oral Shachaz. Guys, listen, Oral Shachaz. Oral is Ula, the, Ula, Rav, and Levi. And Shachaz is Shmuel, Rabbi Yechanan, and Ziri. It's fascinating. These are, these are barely, barely good items. Okay, says the Gemara. It matters. Oral Shachaz Simon. Ama Ula, Allah Rabbi Yehuda, the Allah Rabbi Yehuda of Muqsa. The Af Rav Sab, Allah Rabbi Yehuda. And even Rav holds the Allah Rabbi Yehuda. We had early in the Masechta, of uh, four months ago, we had uh, the cargoes, that they covered up the cargoes with these, these cargo sheets, whether they're muktzah or not. Tysus spoke about that it was smelly from fish, we had a machloik, that's exactly what it was. So, it, so when you pass in like, that these cargo coverings are, are like parts, right, for the cargo, that they're muktzah, so obviously you must look at Yehuda. The Rav also Shmuel Shari, so Af Levi Sava Lach Rav Yehuda, and even Levi holds of Muktzah. Ki Hod the Levi Ki Ami Maisi Terpisa Lekamni Biyam Tava. When Levi they would bring a Shaila and a Trefa, you know, in Yontif guys they brought a Shaila in front of him, whether an animal is a Trefa or not. Lehavi Chazila he wouldn't look at it. Ela Ki Yosef Al Kilta, and then see standing by what by a place where he can go ahead by the Ashba. So if he sees that what that it's that it's a Trefa. You leave it there. Now, why didn't you take it with him? Obviously, because then he held its muktzah. So you see that he held its muktzah. So Levi held its muktzah. So we have we have Ula, Rav, and Levi, Gedoli, Gedoli, Amaroyim, holding a muktzah. Maybe won't be kosher. I feel the kloven lechazen, even for the kloven. So if you can't give it to the dogs, of course it's considered no lot. Obviously, you must hold like Rabbi Yehuda. You can't give it to the dogs. Shmuel says the Allah is Reb Shimon. Shmuel says the Allah is in conjunction with Reb Shimon. The Afsi Iri Sava Halach Kreb Shimon, even the Iri Hals Lachas Kreb Shimon, did none. The Hema Shemesa, a Behema that dies, Lo Yazi Zenim in coma, you don't move it, meaning because it's Muxa, correct? And listen to this, guys. The Tirgum is the Iri, and the Iri touched up that Halacha is the Behema Kachim. Oh, guys, a Behema of Kachim that dies is Asa Behana. So the whole reason it's us is because it's Kachim. If it wasn't Kachim, it would be Mukta. So you see, he does not hold the Mukta, because if he held the Mukta, even if it wasn't Kachim, you won't be able to move it. So the reason you can't move this is because it's uniquely us Bahana, because it's Kachim. So therefore, when he says, I'm Chulin, but Chulin, Shapid Dami Chulin, in fact, what? You would be permitted to go ahead and, 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 uh, and, and carry. So give it to the dogs, because why, in fact, it is not Mukta. Even Rabbi Yechon holds like the Lachar of Shimon. Now, by now, this is also something you must know. I am Rabbi Yechon of Lachar Kistan Mishnah. Rabbi Yechon holds the Lachar is, 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 is uh, like a Stan Mishnah. The Lachar is like a Stan Mishnah. So, since he holds the Lachar is a Stan Mishnah, then therefore, what? If the Stan Mishnah says that it's Muksa, then he slays himself. So, again, you're telling Rabbi Yechon doesn't hold of Muksa. I'm going to tell you a Stam Mishnah that shows Muksa. What's that Stam Mishnah that shows Muksa? But Nan, I'm an Aleph. Ein mavkoyin eitzim min hakoyrois. You can't go ahead and chop eitzim from the from the pile of, of wood that's stored. V'loy min hakoyra, nor from a koyra shenish rubi Nor from a koyra that was what? That broke on yontif. Now, if it broke on yontif, it, right? Stam was for Asaka. It's still us to do. Why? Because Bein Hashmashos, this was not prepared for that purpose. Obviously, if you hold, you can't do that. You must hold of Muksa. When you're not allowed to use this wood that broke on Yontif, why did it break? Again, it's not, not it's, even though you it's time it was beforehand. Again, it's Yontif. Are you saying that 
So you, have to, you can you can burn you can, you can burn you can do firewood. But this wasn't set aside. Since it wasn't set aside, it's muktzah. And this is a stam mishnah. So if Rabbi Yochanan always holds like a stam mishnah, we have a problem. We have a stam mishnah saying muktzah, and we have Rabbi Yochanan saying dalok is like a shimon who doesn't hold the muktzah. And for the Gemara, who Rabbi Yosef Yehuda Masnila. That was not a stam mishnah. It wasn't an anonymous mishnah. He Rabbi Yochanan learned the mishnah in the name of Yosef Rabbi Yehuda. So it's not a stira. We don't have a stam mishnah of muktzah to go ahead and be soser and contradict Rabbi Yochanan. So very good. So right now, guys, we have. We have Oral Shachas, we have Ula, Rav, and Levi holding Muksa. We have Shmuel, Rabbi Yochanan, and Ziri holding not Muksa. We are now in the process of questioning does Rabbi Yochanan really hold? Because you have a problem. Rabbi Yochanan holds like a Stam Mishnah, and we're going to bring another Stam Mishnah of Muksa right in right now. Tashma, you're beginning to burn things. Maskilin Barimus HaTeven, you begin with the Teven pile. Avaloi Be'etzim Sheba Muksa. The Eitzim in the, in the backyard. You can't touch. Now, why not? If it's stam for a sucker, the should not be mutsa. Now, this is a stam mishnah. You're not using the eights that are set aside in the backyard because obviously you're holding a mutsa, which, which is problematic. You're holding a mutsa, which is problematic, like Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan says, no, there's no such thing as we don't pass the mutsa. But Allah is like a stam mishnah. And this stam mishnah, we don't like you use the back wood, the, yard, the wood in the back. So you are holding a mutsa, guys. And for the Gemara, Hassan, the Arzeva Shuchei. The Muksamachmas Khsan Kisu. These are very, very fine wood. They're not gonna burn cedar wood. Aruze are female cedars and shuche seem to be male cedars or vice versa. They're both types of cedar wood. And it's very you're never gonna you're gonna use this for construction. You're not gonna use it for and not even construction of uh, inside. I'm looking at my construction, I'm looking at the winders. Not 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 inside the you know, polished wood. You know, it's re, it's a really cedar is a is a really good wood. So, so make a cedar closet, right? You make cedar closets, right? So make a cedar closet. So I'm saying that that. So it's, it's very, therefore, if, even if Shimon's moida, that's muksa machmas chasar and kiss. That and remember when we say if Shimon doesn't hold the muksa, fellas, we don't mean he doesn't hold the muksa at all. He doesn't hold the far-reaching extent of muksa, right? But he he does hold muksa machmas chasar and kiss. He would hold of. We had earlier, right, with the saws, right, the saws and the and the coulter, We said that. That, that was Muqsa Machmas Chassan Kis. We had Nechemi Ben Chachaya, he made the Takana, and they, they were mocked with this, mocked with First, everything was also because he saw people in Machal Shabbos. And then he brought back more and more and more, but certain things he never brought back. They remained Asa. And they, and they were, these were Muqsa Machmas Chassan Kis. So therefore, it's not a Kashami. It's a Stam Mishnah, but this Stam Mishnah is Muqsa Machmas Chassan Kis and Fila Reb Shimon Moida. Toshma, Ein Mashkin, Vishoyk Denes and Midbariyas. In order to go ahead and, 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 and shaft an animal, what they would do is they would water the animal to facilitate skinning it easier. When it's, when it's hydrated, so the skin gets separated from the, the meat easier. So it says the Mishnah in Beitzah, it says, Ein mashkin midbarios. You can't give to drink or shaft midbarios, the ones that are found in the midbar. Guys, Erev Shabbos, these weren't there. Erev Yantif, they weren't there. They weren't there. They live in the midbar and they wander in on Yantif. You can't say, great, I have, you know, lunch, or, you know, honey, you have lunch, right? You can't do that. Avon mashkin v'shartan esabaisis, but the ones that you find in the house, you could. Now, obviously, over here, guys, this Mishnah holds of muksa, because what are we saying? You can't go ahead and shek midbariyas. Why not? Because they weren't muchen erev yantiv. They were not prepared erev yantiv. It's a stam Mishnah, and we see muksa, and Rabbi Yachim holds of a stam Mishnah. So back to the same line of questioning. How can you tell me Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yechon holds like Shem Shimon, that Stam, that, that, that Muktzi holds a Muktzi. You hear you have a Stam Mishnah, he holds like a Stam Mishnah, and clearly it says that what? That there is Muktzi. And for the Gemara, Rabbi Yechon Stam Achrin Ashkech, he found another Stam. In other words, there's a Stam Mishnah saying Muktzi, there's a Stam Mishnah not saying Muktzi. So line them up, and he decided to go with the one that, that not, doesn't hold the Muktzi. Beishamai Oymrim, what does Beishamai say? You had this earlier. Magbi and Meal, everything I have earlier means in the list 30 bucks that I know well. Says so Gemara, Beishama Yoimrim. Beishama, not saying what this is great. Beishama Yoimrim. Beishama Yoimrim. Magbi and Meal, Ashulchan, at some ways, the Klippin. You can go ahead and pick up off the table. You can pick up the shells and, uh, and the bones. Ubeisilo Yoimrim, Misalik is at Tavla Kula, Menarai. So who holds the books here, guys? Who holds the muksa here? Shabbos. Who holds the muksa here? 
Beishamai does not. Beishamai doesn't. Beishamai is still also muktzah. Yeah. However, from Rabbi Yechonon, Anu and Lanu el Beishamai Kriv Yehud Lev Reisil Kriv Shimon. No, switch it around. Beishil says you can take it off the table. Now, Beishil is considered a star mishnah because you can say, "What do you mean star mishnah?" There are people talking over here, right? So Rashi says Beishil b'Mokim Beishamai is kistan. So Rabbi Yochanan has a stand Mishnah saying you could take the Muktzah off the table, basically. So therefore, I have one Mishnah saying you can't go ahead and shift Midborius. I have another one saying that you could go ahead and clean up the table. So he happened to go with the clean off the table and holding off and, and hold, uh, not holding a Muktzah. So Pligibur of Achor Rabbi Nechad Omar, the Cholashab is cool, Allah is Shimon, the Vami Muktzah Machmas Mias. The Allah is like Shimon, with the exception of Muktzah Machmas Mias. If you have a ner, a ner yoshan, right? We said, my new ner yoshan. We said a lamp. Those lamps, they were, they made of clay. They were oil. They were, they were yuchi. No, no. no, also they were, they were, they were, no, they were yuchi to touch. They were mias. Yes, mias. Mias. Anyway, they, they were mias. So, uh, so therefore, again, just, he doesn't hold that. Halach of Shemin, Levarmi Muktzamach Mas Issa. And my Mechadam and Muktzamach Mesmius and Nami Alach Rav Shimon, even Muktzamach Mesmius Alach Rav Shimon, Levarim Muktzamach Mes Iser, right? And Umay Neu, that's Ner Shedli Kuba Ba'Is Shabbos. If you, since it was Asa Ben Hashmosh, because it was late, it's Asa. Avol Muktzamach Mes Chesor and Kis, I feel Rav Shimon Moida. So again, Muktzamach Mes Chesor and Kis, I feel Rav Shimon Moida. So you have Machlokes to what the extent of Muktz is, according to one opinion. It's it's Muktzamach Mes Chesor and Kis. Another one, Muktzamach Mes Kis and Muktzamach Mesmius. Right. And it says, I feel like I'm Any Kaylee could be taken on Shabbos. Chutz, as I told you, me masker hagadol from the big that's that the lumberjack saw. The v'yaseh shal nachresha and what and the culture of the of the plow. That and that's muksamach was son kiss. Rashi says you you don't want baruch. You, you like someone touching your tools, right? You like right. Yeah. So you understand, but I mean, you don't want no one touching your tools, right? They're, they're my tools, you know. There's something that happened. Can I just borrow that? It's never seen as borrowing tools. Either you never give it back, or you take it and ruin it. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's 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 true. So this lumberjack uh, saw you have on it, you have the serrated edges. Right, right, you didn't get it back. It's going to look flat, you know. So it's going to. So therefore, people will mock it. And who are then the cult of you? People will mock that on that. So that that is a Mishnah. If Shimon doesn't argue in that Mishnah, so Muktzamach Chesam Kis would be us. Okay, I mean, that's what, it's interesting. Ending the Masechta with a very very basic Nakud throughout the Masechta. That that's what it's not the same. The Machloikus of Shimon or Yehuda throughout the Masechta repeats itself constantly, constantly. Okay, it says that now. There's a lot of guys outside of how forest the Dora Mataras the Dam in the beginning of Parshas Matis, right? That uh, a, a husband. Boy by yoyim, the day he hears the, the neder of his wife can go ahead and be made for the neder. He can be made for the neder. A father can be made for the neder of a nayar marasa, right? In conjunction with marasa, if, if, not, if not engaged, then it can be made for the neder. The, the, the father can be made for the neder. There's a, a neder then a person takes off himself by telling a chacham. And you go to a chacham and it's called your shoyal on the neder. You tell the chacham, had I known, like, let's say, uh, uh, hypothetically, I, the guy makes an I'll, ne- I'll, I'll, I'll never watch the Jets again. And then they're 10 and 1, right? And then you wake up from the dream. Now, yeah, and then then you, go, you go to a chacham and say, had I known to be 10 and 1, right? Would you go on ahead? What? I made the nether. And the chacham says, he goes, you know, he goes, if you had not 10 and 1, mutalach, mutalach, because you're a tippish. And the nether wasn't a nether in the first place. I'm saying that again. So if, if you know that it's an edda, then you could take it off. So three ways. Hafara by two people, father and husband, and she'ela by what? By the, by the, by Bezdin. Okay. Now, can you do this on Shabbos? Can you, guys, can you do this on Shabbos? Can you take off an edda on Shabbos? What would the problem be, guys? It's a stick like ticking money, even attacking, right? Something you don't do the call. It's like, you no, know, it's like ticking. Like, but, yeah, you don't do the call. I'm not sure. I, I think it's more ticking. I, I see it more as, as you're being attacking the person. This person now in this state, right? You speak you about taking mana. You, what? Again, you can't eat something, right? So now you, oh, you, you're attacking. You could eat something, right? You can't eat chalant. You make an You can't eat chalant. Right? You can't eat chalant. So, so what happens? First of all, 
Like the Shabbos, you're in much better shape, right? <laughs> but I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah. Anyway, my fear in the darn and Bishabis, you could be made for the darn and Bishabis, right? Finish all in the darn, Shahim with Sarah Shabbos. And you could be Shoyal in the darn, which are the Sarah Shabbos. In other words, now the question is that word the Sarah Shabbos, meaning the nether has to have something to do with Shabbos, correct? Now, is this going back on the first din? You said two dinim. You said din A, have forest nedarim, din B, nishol nedarim, the din of Shela by Yechacham. So you said let's serve Shabbos on the second one. If, who was in the first one? If you miss it, no, then if you miss it, then you're never going to be able to start. Oh, uh, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, okay, I, very good. Sorry, Bill. My refrigerator is full of all the knock covers. I'm here. I'll give you an and, the and then, then, also. then you woke up. Then you woke up in the dream as well. Who who and you can go ahead and take a window and stuff it. We'll see what that's talking about. you can measure uh, a cloth to see if it's three at boys by three at boys. Let's say you have a cloth that touches a sheretz, and then it touches food. So if the cloth is tame, the food will be tame, correct? In order to be makabel tuma, we saw it earlier in the mesechta. It has to be three heads boys by three heads boys. So you can measure the cloth to see if it's tummy to go ahead and transfer the what? The tumma to food. You can go ahead and be moid in the mikvah. Mikvah, guys, you're 40 sides. One amma by one amma, high three ammas. One amma by one amma, high three. I, I, I have to tell you, I did you have you have done? I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you a crazy story. My, my son in law, is is he's he's, he's, he's he's a Mickey, he's a Mickey. You know, he goes to the Mickey every week, and during the pandemic, he had problems. He was he was going uh, star crazy, or you know, he was Mickless, so he had a problem. So he bought <laughs> this corn syrup comes in these two hundred gallon containers. You, you, you've never seen them. I, trust me, it's it's he put it in his backyard. He is machabra to the ground, he connected to the ground, and he put water in. Now it's only a men's mikvah, obviously, shoe it's shoe of him. But for a man, that's, that's enough. If you can a woman can use it. He put up his, his sukkah on top of it, and he put a a swimming pool apparatus, and you went in. And let me tell you, it wasn't more than two feet by two feet by three feet. And it was mikvah. I mean, you know, you think to yourself, uh, I, I'm thinking to myself as I learned this. I, did he have a yoga? I, I, I saw this. It, well, it's, I did, I did, I, yeah, I did, I did use it. I tell you, I'm sure I used it. At 4:15 in the morning, there was a there was a line there. Mike, were you there in the shoes in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, there was a, there was a few guys there. Let's go like this. And I like how you make fun of I like how you make fun of the Mick Van Uma. No, but this was really. At first, I almost killed myself getting in, and you have to sit there in the fetal position to get covered. But it, it was a mikvah. It, 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 you have to see it. It's really the funniest thing. They have nice towels. What? Do they have nice towels. Towels. I was just happy that that the wall of, of the sukkah didn't fall down. I, I had this pachad. Like like. <laughs> I hope the neighbors didn't ask any funny questions. Uh, Mayor, six forty-five tomorrow night. Okay. Anyway. So, so as a matlas, as a mikvah. So you're able to measure these for reasons. This, it's mashma medidin shall mitzvah is permitted. If it's a measurement for a mitzvah, it is permitted. Who ma'isvim may avishol of tzaddik. There was an incident in the in the in the days of the father of tzaddik who may avishol ben botnis shepaku es hamar. They went ahead and they stuffed up the window tapiach with a clay jar the kashu es hamakeda and begami. And they went ahead and tied a makeda, some type of a vessel with uh, with a rubber rubber plant. Lay that to know if in the barrel is pesechtefach Now that's a very ambiguous statement. We will get back to it as Hashem uh, soon. Okay, we have a picture and the whole thing. And from the words we learn, from the word we learn that we that poikin, you're able to go ahead what and and uh poi cake to go ahead and stuff and, and measure the question for Shabbos that you're able to do. Okay, now let's getting back to the first Shiloh. We said our forest Nadarim, we said that uh is it Dafka Litsairh Shabbos or Lav Litsairh? 
Mishalim Zichel is the Shar of Shabbos. Question that's by, by the Chacham. But by a forest Nadarim, is it Dafka before even Shabbos and that? Iboilahu. Hafara, Bain Litzairich, Ubain Shalai Litzairich. Hafara, whether it's Litzairich that you need it for Shabbos, Ubain Shalai Litzairich. U Sheela Litzairich in Shalai Litzairich Loi. U Mishim Hachi, Kapalignum Hadadi. Therefore, we went ahead and separated them. Guys, so look at the Mishnah literally. Guys, look back at the Mishnah. Mafir in the Dharam Bishabis, Vinishal in the Dharam Shehain Litzairich Shabbos. So we separated the words Shehain Litzairich Shabbos from the Dharam. Right? And this, it's only went on the Shalom. It didn't go back on, on that. It's separate. That's why we separated She'el and Afaro, because the word that's Sarek Shabbos is only going on the latter, not the previous. Back in the Gemara, Aydilma, Hafaro Nami Litzarech in Shalom Litzarech Loi, Vahadik Hapalag Lehu, Mead Badi, so why'd you separate them? Mishun Vafaro in Sarek Bezdin, Ushela Tzricha Bezdin. Afaro does not need Bezdin, and Shalom needs a Bezdin. So the question, when it says Hafaro's Nedarim, is it only the is it only the darim that are the tzarek shabbos, or even one shalay the tzarek shabbos? And she'ela clearly is only one with tzarek shabbos, meaning that it's you you can't have shalom. But let's say you said you won't wear a, you won't wear a bathrobe. That has nothing to do with garnish. You won't be able to take that off. It has nothing to do with shabbos, right? It has nothing to do with the shabbos. So that's the shaila. Does it have to have that you remove it because it's going to go ahead and shter your einik shabbos if you don't remove it? Well, no, it has nothing to do with Shabbos. It, a forest of Dharma is permitted any which way. Yes? What's the service of the Hafara with the usually is you're taking off for a wife, for somebody else, your wife or your kid. Shell is for yourself, right? Shell will be for yourself. It, it could be wife and kid also, but it's all generally it's for yourself. Toshma. The Tani Zute Debe Papa, Ma fear in the Dharma be Shabbos, Litzarcha Shabbos. May fear and you could take another shot that Sarah Shabbos in Shlay, Sarah Shabbos Loi. And therefore, in other words, that that you could take off your wife with Charles Nether is only if it's yeah. it's going to impede your Oinik Shabbos. If it has nothing to do with Shabbos, if it's, if it's a, a Nether that can wait to take off, you take it off. The question is, how could you wait? Which you're going to see in a second. Lishnachrina, Iboyelhu. Now, fellas, bear in mind, a husband. Can only take off the nether of his wife by by yon, the day he has the, the the day he has it. Okay, can only take off by by yon. Ibay lehu, litzayrich atshavayu k'tani is the word litzayrich going back on both on she'ela and afara. Ushloi litzayrich loy alma first the darim me'es le'es. Therefore, it must be the darim is me'es le'es. By dilma kikatani litzayrich ashe'ela who dictani alma first the darim afilu shloi litzayrich alma first the darim kalayon. Guys. He's got a good question. If I can only take off my wife's nether, if I only can take off my wife's nether the day I heard it, correct? So Shabbos, the Tzarek Shabbos, I would have to need, right, 24 hours, right? Because again, it could be that what, that, that I need time to take off the nether. If I, if I don't remove it, right, I think that's wrong. I think a little wrong shot. Hang on a second. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. Guys. Good. Very good. Now, let's say you're telling me the following. I can remove a nether that has to do with Shabbos on Shabbos. If it doesn't have to do with Shabbos, then I can't do it on Shabbos, but I can do it on Sunday. Yeah. So it must be that I have more than uh, at least 24 hours to do it from the time she made the nether. Because let's say she made the nether on Shabbos, correct? As soon as Shabbos is over, it's the next day, I'm done. But it said you, you could, you can't take off, you can't, you could take off the dorm with, with, with Shabbos. You can't take off what? Non-Shabbos. Non so when can I take off non-Shabbos? It must be when? It must be later, right? So it's later, it must be I have more time to take it off. I mean, less, less. Again, again, that, yeah, but that's the Shlaych Shabbos. The cash is from the Shloy Litzarech. The cash is from the Shloy Litzarech. In other words, if I can only take it off that day, and you're not letting me take it off in Shabbos, I need to extend the time. That would be the Mace Lace. Or no, or, or no, that, that you could take off anything, and therefore, then it's only up to the whole day. No, the second side is, I don't know, Kikitvan Litzarech, Ashe'elu. 
The Tzor of Shabbos is only going on the second thing. Yes, me Chacham, Tani. I will afford the Doran, taking off your wife's nether. I feel a shalom at Tzor. Even if it's non Shabbos, you could take it off on Shabbos. I'll my first the Doran Kalayoim, only the day and not in May's place. Guys, you have the two Tzadim? Fellas on the Zoom, you got the two Tzadim? Tajma. The Tony Rav Zuti, the day Rav Papi. My fear in the Doran be Shabbos, with Tzor of Shabbos, with Tzor of Shabbos in, Shalom at Tzor of Shabbos Loi. Alma first the Doran me So he passes clear like the first side. Guys, he passes the following. He says, Come Shabbos, the only nether you can take off is you, if your wife made a nether that she won't eat cholent, and it's going to stare you that she's not eating cholent, right? Well, uh, let's let's make it that that's too that's too hypothetical. Your wife makes a nether that she won't eat salad, right? I'm not eating salad with like it's with sauce, a little dressing. She man, it's going to stare you. You're going to sit there. You can take it off, right? You can take it off, but you can't take off nether. She says she made a nether. That 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 she won't wash your clothing, that you can't take off. When can you take it off? Matzah Shabbos, the next day. Yeah. So how do you have time? I it's the next day. Hello, what do you see? It must be you get me a slice. Amr Ravashi v'nan tenan afaris nederim kol ayoyim v'yesh bedavol ha'chokol ha'achmir. You could take off the neder for the whole day. Sometimes lemekel, sometimes ha'achmir. Kaitzat nodra lele Shabbos. Let's say she made the nether Friday night. How long do you have to take it off, guys? Friday night and the whole next day. So that's that 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 is a, a cooler. You have an extended day. Again, you can by here by we begin we begin the night, the day, the night before. So she made a nether Friday night. You have all of Friday night to take it off and all of Saturday to take it off. That's all one day. However, which man also takes the Shabbat tonight. The means. <laughs> Now, however, however, that's 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 the that's the the the, the kula, right? The yoyim haShabbos at shetechshaf, right? And the whole day until it gets dark. Nodra im chashecha. Let's say she makes guys a neda five minutes before it says. How much time do you have to take off the neda? Five minutes. So that's the hachmer. So in other words, <laughs> it's you only have one day. So clearly, we're not holding me slays kasha. This is guys. This is a mishnah in the darim. So how can Rav Zuta Bar Papi say you have me ace la ace? How can he say you have 24 hours? He's an Amoira. You have a Mishnah clearly saying that you have one day and that's it, not and not 24 hours. Says the Gemara. Rabbi, if I may, the Baal has he has the time from when he heard it or from when she made it. The young Shamo. Young Shamo. The young Shamo. So she could have made it on Tuesday and he's finding out Shabbos morning. Whenever it is that he, again, again, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but even Haniach, your s- scenario, the, the application of this Mishnah Shabbos. is if he finds it on Shabbos, you can be lahakal or lahachmir. It can be you can have a whole Shabbos to take it off or five minutes to take it off or one minute to take it off. That's it. That's it. I mean, that, again, it, it, it's a, it's a, you understand the Tasha over here. You don't have me a slice in the time you hear it. That's the point. You don't have the time, Ace Lace. You don't have the time. You didn't have the Shabbos. The Shabbos changes the whole, makes Lace Lace. I don't understand the question. Shabbos makes it that. Only Nachamina of the Ace Lace. But no, you would, let's say, let's, you would lose the right, Hilly, to go ahead and, and, and take it off. Let's say, let's say you hear it on Tuesday night. You hear it, it's five minutes before, before Wednesday morning, right? You only have five minutes, that's it. You only have five minutes, that's it. The Nachamina is the Tzarek Shabbos, but again, it, it's it, the same thing. The same thing. Says the Gemara, Nadrim Chashecha Meifat Shloi Tachshav Shem Loi Hefer Mechashecha Eni Yochel Lehefer. So the Chayyim says on Rav Rav Papi, Rav Zuta by Rav Papi. Says my Tanoyim, my Loi just Tanoyim, whether me Eis Leis or all the whole day. The Tanya, how far is the Darim Kol Ayom? Rav Yisroel Yehuda, Rav Yisroel, 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 be, okay, I'll, I'll tell you a very nice, nice, a very, very nice piece. In the Shalom and the Darim, he didn't have time. Let's say that you had time to go to a Chacham, Erev Shabbos, to take it off. And you didn't. Now comes Shabbos, and you want to take it off. 
can you or not? And that is, do we say the Dovashir F Shalasa is that a Shabbos? Asa, if a layasa, no, but still you could. That's, what's the difference? Even if you had time, you still could take it off in Shabbos. Tashma, there's like Kikule Rabbanal Ram Sutra Bereda of Zera, the Sharlin of the Reha, it took off in the Dorim, Afagab the Havile Pnai, even though what? They had time. So again, not only can you take off Shela, you can take it off in Shabbos, you can take it off on Shabbos if you're too lazy to go to the Besdin Erev Shabbos. You heard it, Eric. You heard it. You're lazy, you couldn't find it. No, you're lazy. You didn't go. Kayla? What? Yourself. You, in other words, you had time Erev Shabbos to go take care of it. You didn't. You waited for Shabbos. You still could take it off on Shabbos. Good? It just says over here the following, if you had time. Okay, so now. So what about Hafaris Nadarim? Clearly, you can't, correct? A forest in the Dorim, if you had time and it comes Shabbos, right, you wouldn't be able to. What's the difference? What's the difference? So I, I saw a var from the Panovich Arav. Listen to this Gvaldig of guys. It's the tremendous lumbus over here. There's a big difference halachic mechanically how Hafara works and how Shayla works. When you go to, to your, your, your taking off the nether of your wife, the nether is there, it's chal. And you're taking off the nether. In other words, there's an existence of a chalos of a nether. This nether is an effect. Your wife cannot eat shalom. She can't. You take it off. It works mikan lahaba. From the time, it, it works only from the time you took it. She'ela, when you go and you say, had you known that your husband was, was bent out of shape, would you have made the nether? She goes, I never would have made the nether in the first place. It works lemafreya, as if the nether was never there at all. It works on my Freya if never is the goal. So this is a beautiful lump. This says the front of it, Sharaf. By Sha'ela, by, excuse me, by Hafara, the reason why, if you had time to take it off every Shabbos and you take it off Shabbos, we don't let like you be metakin your wife. You had a chance to be metakin, right? Since there's a chalois now of the nether, by taking it off, you're being metakin your wife. Masha'en came by the Chachamim, there was Nishkai Nether in the first place. It was gone completely. It wasn't there at all. So there's no ticket. It just wasn't. The guy, Frank Nishan, it didn't begin even. It's a beautiful lump. It's the chilik between what? She'ela that you could take off when you had time versus what? Versus uh, the, the hafara, where if you even, if you, didn't, if you didn't have time, you want to take it off. We don't want you to attack your wife because it's a very nice chilik between. You if I need your husband? What? I don't know. Again, again, this is uh, this is Shabbos. I, I, I was finished with need of a seven and a half years. I, I, I'm saying I'm going back that quickly. Right. What? what do you... Again, I, I have to warn you, you're not sitting in a good place. next to him is not a good place to sit. Trust me, I've been here for 28 years. It's not a great place to sit. Yeah. He, used to, he used to sit right in front of me. Let me guess, someone sitting next to Benji? Yeah. No, he said, the Chaim says on the Zoom, he says he, got, he gets Benji's seat. He gets his eyes right in front of me. Okay, very good schmack. Guys, a ni- nice chilek, right? It's a nice slum just to make the chilek between the two. Says the Gemara Vaita. Okay, guys, listen to this case. Thank you, Shalom Kagan. Well, look at this picture. It is a weird, weird picture. It, it's really weird. Yeah. There's a mace lying in an alleyway between two buildings. Now, the, the mace can do one of two things. You want to take a picture and send it out? You want to take a picture and send it out? <laughs> Weekly reader. Okay, so guys, there's a mace between in the city. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Sorry. Scary, right? <laughs> there's a mace lying between a shvil in, in a, a road between two buildings. Now, the tumma can do one or two things the tumma can either go up. Or the tumma can go sideways. Now, if the you see that thing on top, that little basin, that barrel, 
there's a crack there in that barrel. If there's a crack there in that barrel, that's a size of a tefach, then the mace goes up, straight up, and it doesn't go sideways. <clears throat> so how conversely, if it, it, it's not covering, it's an oil, then it's going to go sideways. They didn't know what the story was, so what did they do? They stuck, they stuck in the, bat, in the window, they stuck over here, they stuck a kli of cheres. This kli of cheres cannot be makabal tome from the inside, only from the outside. So they're saving themselves. You, could, you have a picture. Uh, yeah, picture number 1430. Do you have it on your phone? Yeah. What? The aleph. They didn't make a body. They put a little aleph there. That little mace in the floor. That aleph. That little dot is the mace. Okay. You sent it out, Steve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did the guys bring it? Oh, it's not. <laughs> they got rid of the father. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So now, <clears throat> so the, there are there are there are many things happening over here. Let's go over the things that are happening over here. Okay. So the first thing, David, David, you have to get you on the on the chat so we can get the stuff up. I'm gonna put you on. Put David David Sass on. Okay. I I I don't know how to do it. I, I, don't have, I have mine. I don't have okay. Them. Okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll get them on. Okay. So what we want to do the following. I'm just, there's a shvil. There's a mace in between. You want to make sure that the mace goes up rather than over here. But you're not sure. There's an oil. There might be a crack in the oil. So the first thing you did was before the mace died, before the mace died, you took a, a you sealed your window, your chalon, with a pakak. You sealed it out with a, uh, a tapiach, which is a, a good way cleat. Because the earthenware cleat can only come from the inside. You stick it with the outside that way. So even the mace is going to come this way. It's not going to get into your house. Good. If the mace is going up, you didn't even have to do that. They're only going to find out if the mace is metama once they went ahead and took a measuring device. So they went on the roof, right? They would go on the roof and measure it. They would go on the roof and measure it to see what, if there was a, the, the crack that's there. So that's the Gemara. You'll see it now in the Gemara. It'll make a lot of sense. So Shepaku Esamar, they went ahead and they stuffed the window in case the in case the mace was going to go sideways, the tuma, and then bitapiach, then vikoshu esamakeda begemi, and then they went to the roof, they tied uh, makeda, which was a tefach wide, with a gemi, and they're going to see if the crack in the barrel was a tefach wide, which will allow the mace to go up. Amrav Yehuda Marav. Hilkati Katana Haisa Ben Shnei Batim. There was a Hilkati Katana. There was a big, there was a little shvil. There was a little road between two, uh, two uh, houses. The Tumah Haisa Sham, Ahmed Beis. And there was Tumah there. The Gigis Seduka Munechas Al Gabon. And there was a cracked barrel on top of the two houses. Upachu Es Hamaar. They went ahead. They stuffed the window with a, a, with a earthenware kli with the back towards the outside. To ensure before the mace died that it won't go into the inside. The Kashuas Amakeda Begemi, they then went ahead to measure to see if there was a crack in the barrel to allow the tum to ascend. They went ahead and they cut they tied with the gemi, laid them yesham vikigas by from love. And that was the case over there. Okay? And the Bez Hashem tomorrow will we'll finish the rest. So again, so everyone guy brings Gemara Ervin tomorrow, the guys who are here, and everyone's here, say say goodnight to everybody. We have a minion. See you tomorrow. Tonight, you're going to cash in. That's a college broker. Zakis, that's Israel. The people here, Mitch Nemar. I'm not afraid to answer. Koi, the Agnel Tire of Yadir.